So once again, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you my senator from Mississippi, our champion, Senator Thad Cochran. Thank you very much, Sherry. Thank you all for the generous welcome and inviting me to come by and say hello and greet you and wish you well as you come here today to talk to representatives and senators about programs of interest in education throughout the states and in particular the National Writing Project. I'm glad to see that it continues to enjoy such enthusiastic support and personal active involvement of individual teachers and administrators whose job it is to identify ways to teach our children more effectively, to make sure they are equipped with the skills they need, not only in English and communication skills, but uh, across the wide breadth of fundamental knowledge that's important to succeed and to help continue the great traditions of our country and help make this a more peaceful world. Uh, the, the opportunities are so limitless and so great, uh, it can be overwhelming or uh, a challenge that's too great for any one person or any one school. But one teacher at a time, one school at a time, it spreads and uh, becomes contagious and beneficial to our country. And I think that's the, what we can say about the National Writing Project. You all have worked to make it so successful. Um, my involvement was uh, just a tangential uh, effort to support the teachers in our state, in particular the National uh, Writing and Thinking Institute and the Mississippi State University group who really started this whole thing, Sherry Swain and her colleagues and Dr. A.D. Seal, uh, the father, uh, was a good friend of mine and uh, helped get me started really in identifying priorities that uh, I should recognize as important when I first became a U.S. Senator. And uh, that seems like a long time ago now. You know. <laughs> it has been a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, that's one of the bright spots in my congressional career and career in the Senate that I appreciate and continue to remember with uh, appreciation and affection for the family. Um, I'm, I don't have a lot of specific uh, things to tell you that would be encouraging. It's almost like jump ball in the Appropriations Committee now. You don't know really um, what to expect because there's so many pressures on the budget so much emphasis on um, national security issues that concern us, rightly so. Um, we have men and women overseas in harm's way uh, trying to help secure the peace and uh, make this uh, planet habitable and our country safe and secure from dangers. Uh, the terrorism uh, threat is real and uh, very troubling. Uh, so you're here at, in a, at a time when there's a backdrop of, of seriousness of purpose as, uh, as maybe you've never before felt or, or sensed. But I think um, our education programs are so fundamental to our country's security and our ability to continue to educate uh, children and those who are coming into positions of leadership and responsibility. Uh, it's, it, it's a very important time, I think, for educators to take a, a hard look at how we're teaching, uh, what's important, uh, and I think communication skills have never been in more demand. Uh, some of the things that we waked up 
one morning and realized uh, several years ago, at least in my case, when I was asked to uh, be a judge on some writing competitions. And I was really shocked at how poor the writing quality was of the papers that were being submitted by what I expected would have been the, the brightest and best students and therefore the gifted uh, writing would come through real quickly. And that wasn't the case at all. It was really um, shocking. And it had kind of slipped up on me that uh, writing quality had had almost evaporated in, in, our, in our school system. And they, I know I'm, that's a blanket indictment, but it's nobody's fault, really. It just kind of happened. Um, I don't know whether I'm not going to blame television or I don't know what to blame. But the whole point of the story is um, I think that was something that gave impetus to the creation of your organization in the beginning of it. Uh, was a recognition that, hey, wait a minute, somebody's got to do something. We've got to change course. We're going to figure out how to teach children to write again. Um, and that's what you're doing. And I think it's very, very important. So I, I'm glad to be here today to thank you for continuing your support of our programs that we've got in our education appropriations uh, bill that we hope will be approved in both houses and we'll continue to push for federal support for what you're doing. And I wish you well and if you want to tell me what all the details are and what your goals are, I'll be glad to do that with you uh, in a one-on-one -on -one situation and you can give me the specifics and whatever your strategies are. Put me down. I'm on your side. Thank you. <laughs>